Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Lisa with Lisa's Faith and Scripture Writing channel. I'm excited to be here today. I'm kind of sad to be here, but I'm very excited um, to worship the Lord and just share His Word and my thoughts and the Scripture as it pertains to me and my life. And I hope it provides inspiration and and maybe a glimmer of hope into your life as well. If it does, you know, put a little comment comment section below or, you know, give me a little thumbs up. I would love to hear from you guys or see a little, little bit of that in the activity on my videos. But um, I'm here today because today is literally my last uh, filming and I'm late doing this so that today is July 2nd and I wanted to close out June on the 29th, um, but on Wednesday, but I had so much to do because if you haven't seen my previous videos and you don't know, and this is your first time coming here, welcome. I'm excited to have you here. Go ahead and click that subscribe button and like this video um, so you can come back and see my videos. I'm taking two months off. Um, you can check out my other videos and I'll leave a playlist up in the corner um, of my um, vi uh, prayerful planner videos from my other channel if you're interested in seeing my older stuff from a year or two ago. Um, but I, I have to take a couple months off because I'm moving and um, I can't do videos and <laughs> pack everything and move everything and unpack and all that craziness for a family of four adults all at the same time. So um, as much as I love you guys I re and really would love to keep doing this um, no matter what God has definitely given me the heart and the grace and the mind and the understanding that I have to pace myself and that I can always come back and um, and I'm excited to do that but for right now I'm going to finish up the month of June share the scripture from June 29th um, that is in the prayerful planner uh, we're going to read the scripture together. I've already done my warm-up writing. I like to write out a verse first and in new version as my warm-up and just get my hand and brain flowing in that mindset of worship before I actually come on camera. So this is what I do off camera. And then on camera, you'll see me write out this scripture, which I have not read yet. It's Luke 6, uh, 40, 45. And then the journal prompt, which um, I've only read what this says, may my words be fruitful today. And that is also highlighted here in the prayerful planners, scripture writing and journaling prompt. This is a free, uh, thing that they, they give out with the people who purchase, or if you're part of the Facebook group, uh, prayerful planner, this is uh, prayerfulplanner.com. I'm not affiliate. I don't have any perks or anything like that. I just, I love the product. I love what it is. This is actually a printable. I downloaded the PDF for this and once a week I will actually print, well, I print out for the month and then once a week I actually get into this and um, come on camera with you guys and share uh, thoughts, feelings, and expressions of what the scripture is saying for me. And I put down a few stickers and I'm ready to get started. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pop this page out. Uh, I am going to go ahead and kind of zoom in a little bit and we're going to read the scripture um, and this one and go over whatever I got down and then I'll fast forward through writing this and this after we read three versions. I like to read three versions because it helps me gain context of what the scripture is saying and what the true meaning is. Um, I'm not assuming anything. And um, so I usually read the ESV, the NIV, and the Amplified version. Amplified, hands down, is my favorite. So that's what I'll probably write, but we'll have to wait and see if I like the others better. So I will be right back. Okay, I am back. So here we go. Uh, today's scripture is Romans 12, 2. This is a verse of the day in the prayerful planner that is already on each of the um, prayerful planners uh, days. Um, you can get a dated version or the undated version, is, um, but all of them have the scripture here in the corner. Um, that way, if you have a really busy day and you're planning out your day, I don't use this as a planner, I use it as a journal, but if you're planning out your day and as well as everything else, um, you at least get God's word in just for, you know, one verse and hopefully that inspires more throughout the day. So uh, it just depends on how busy life is and I can see myself referring to just a verse of the day 
once a day going forward. So <laughs> at least until the moving's all done. Um, so today, Romans 12, 2, do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Romans 12, 2. I love this verse. It is ex exactly what I needed to hear because there's so many opinions of so many topics of so many things going on and I have so much going on in my life. I'm trying to discover where God is in the middle of all this. So I'm like, okay, what do I need to do to make sure that God and I are in align with what his verses and his scripture, his word is saying that is true. And all you have to do is allow him to renew your mind and throw your opinion out and just allow him to show you and share with you through his scripture and word the truth, not what somebody else has preached, not what somebody else has told you in their opinion, though some of that is really good and really helpful, especially with pastors and Bible study leaders and stuff like that. But truly sit down with the word of God and go, Okay, I want you to transform my mind. I want your truth, Lord. And that is going to be what really helps. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and highlight this. I like highlighting after I've read it um, to make note that I have read it. <laughs> um, it's just kind of my little check off. You know, doo, did it. And uh, that works for me. I always highlight in these other areas as well when I am working it just kind of helps me break down what I'm doing um, I didn't have the right highlighter so I had to use one in most of my office stuff is packed because we did our listing photos for selling our house yesterday and um, to make the house look very presentable for um, potential buyers online I had to really you know downsize everything in my office so the ones I was using I don't have I just grabbed a highlighter I thought I would use and that I like so that's why it's different than the rest I hated it but I, I wanted it to be matched but that's okay moving on from there um the warm-up verse of the day was really good as well I was listening to um on you version I don't know if you guys have this app um but uh, it's a bible app it's you version this is what their homepage looks like um and i was just taking their verse of the day today is the second of july but um they have this little video here i won't play it for copyright reasons and they have different pastors worship leaders and other teachers and stuff like that that every day with the verse of the day they get to film this video and then you version uh, pops it in their uh, verse of the day and it's part of the thing. So I love that, that not only do you get a scripture verse of the day, but you get a mini preaching verse of the day. And I thought, that is an amazing idea. So if you're looking for something with just a little extra oomph to help you with the scripture for the verse of the day, especially if you're new to scripture and you're like a brand new Christian, this is perfect. If you don't know the Bible stories that way, if you don't know the context, and you need more information uh, within what that chapter is about or whatever um, and what the verse is saying this is perfect especially in small bites uh, it can be overwhelming when you start getting into your faith and doing your walk or if your life is just as busy as mine <laughs> and you can only handle <laughs> just a little bit then this might be perfect as well. So Psalms 59, 16, I did write it in the Amplified version. Again, that's my favorite version. Um, but as for me, I will sing of your mighty strength and power. Yes, I will sing joyfully over your loving kindness in the morning. For you have been my stronghold, a refuge in the day of my distress. Now this is a Psalm of David from what I understand. And he was worshiping and singing and praying to the Lord. And he was surrounded by his enemies. Um, and this was his way of having a weapon. Um, not a physical one that we could see, but a spiritual one. And he was worshiping the Lord in the most highest distress of his moments in time. And I am just amazed um, by that kind of strength. 
that he would worship and sing. It may not have sounded joyful when he sang it. It may not have been a happy sound, but he was singing and worshiping in a very difficult moment in life. And a few times, very rarely, but few times, I've been able to do that a little bit. Um, recently, my son graduated high school. He is he and I are about the same height, and <laughs> and a sea of five hundred graduates plus family and friends trying to find him outside um, where we where he graduated from. It was just hard to find him. It took me quite a bit of time and he would not stand still long enough for me to find him, which, you know, even if we had a meeting place, it was just so overwhelming. It was hard to find him. And I remember praying and worshiping God through that whole moment because I was scared. And I knew I didn't have a reason to be scared because I knew he wouldn't go too far. And my son, even though he's graduated high school, graduated with honors, he's autistic as well. So I didn't know how panicked he was. And I just desperately wanted to get to him. And so I had to trust God in that moment. And um, But we found each other and we, everything was fine. <laughs> I just, I, I just, um, it was one of those stressful moments and I tried to worship the Lord in a stressful moment. So not as severe as what David went through, but you know, it was severe enough for me. <laughs> so, um, my praise for today is thank you, Lord, for all your provision as we are transitioning during our move. Um, his provisions of helping us get the house fixed up, any, repairs that need to be done, which there's not a lot. It's just small stuff that we're not used to doing. Um, and we kind of just kind of passed over. We really didn't think much about it. Just all the, that, that's basically it. He's providing and showing us and revealing to us what we really need and what we don't really have to worry about. Um, Though in the middle of this, my husband has pulled his back. I did. We did go to the chiropractor. They did an adjustment. He did, he's doing so much better. But today is a rest day, which is why I'm able to film. And um, so he is resting, and I decided to film. <laughs> so physical health. I pray that you help us to be strong in body and mind as we begin the physical process of our move. So next stage is getting the garage empty and clean. And if you have a garage like ours, that's full of stuff. The house isn't so bad, but the garage, oh my gosh. And our little attic space, oh my gosh, we've really got to take care of that. And we're planning to take a lot of stuff to um, extra trash that we've collected to the dump and dump that this week. But we also um, have to or not have to, but we want to uh, order a one of those dumpster kind of things that they can put in front of your house and you can throw a lot of debris in. Hopefully we can still get one of those um, and get that lined up for our house and just have a big trash day from our garage as we're moving out. And I just pray, you know, with my husband's back and um, my uh, neuropathy and my hands and my feet that we can get through this. So that is what we're doing there. Um, so moving on, Luke, uh, 45, 645. Oh, geez. I am going to look that up in my iPad here in my Bible app. As soon as I find the book, there we go. Luke six and 45. So we're going to read three versions of this scripture. It's been a while since I've, uh, done a video. So if I'm stumbling, I do apologize. <laughs> I just haven't been doing very many. Oh, and excellent. It's already highlighted. So now I'm going to find all the versions of this and get this highlighted in the three versions I want to read to you, the ESV, the NIV, and the Amplified. Um, starting with the ESV is where I want to begin. So there we go. And this is Jesus speaking. And the title of the section here, it says a tree and its fruits. So I'm wondering uh, if it has more information for Sabbath. Okay. I'm just gonna have to read the verse and see uh, where it leads us. So um, 645 
and that's where we're at right now. Now, the theme for the month in the prayerful planner of scripture is the um, my cup runneth over kind of theme. So f God filling us up and the overflow of that and um, and things like that. So the scripture says the good person out of the good treasure of his heart produces good and the evil person out of his evil treasure produces evil. For out of the abundance of the heart, his mouth speaks. I have never, I mean, I've read similar verses to this, but I don't think I've read it in that way. Evil treasure. <laughs> That's a new phrase for me. Um, yeah, wow. That is, that is so excellent. I love this. This is Jesus speaking. That's why it's in red. Um, that's a good verse. Let me go to the NIV and see if it's worded a little different and um, maybe it's more familiar to me. I don't know. A good man brings good things out of the good stored up in his heart and an evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in his heart. For the mouth speaks what the heart is full of. I like the wording. It was easier to read this one. Um, did I? I like this. It sounds, it's easier to read. It sounds better. It, it definitely makes more sense in the way the words uh, come out in, um, in my mind. So that works. I do love this verse because it does talk about the overflow of good when your heart is full of good. And you, if your heart is full of Christ, then your heart is full of good. And if your heart is full, is not full of Christ, yeah. Well, there's an issue there. So um, evil is in this world and evil will come out and your mouth will speak that. Um, it just it, it's just how our human and spiritual parts uh, work together and um, how we reveal ourselves, how we are what um, how God created us, uh, especially and who we became after the fall. So, um, the, let's see, I'm going to take this out real quick because that green's going to bug me. All right. Um, so here in the amplified, this letters in, or words in black are just amplifications based on the original writings, um, in, um, literal translations of the scripture. So it just amplifies it a little bit, um, doesn't change the meaning or change anything just like the other translations it just enhances it so that's why I love the amplified let's see the intrins intrinsically good man produces what is good and honorable and moral out of good treasure stored in his heart and the intrinsically evil man produces what is wicked and depraved out of the evil in his heart for his mouth speaks from the overflow of his heart. I don't think it changed much for me. Um, I love this and it is really good. I don't really need the intrinsically word there, um, but it is a good word choice. And yeah, I, I do love this scripture. I mean, it, it is a good scripture um, to remind us that what is in our heart overflows. But I have to say this time, <laughs> I actually like the NIV the best. So that is the version I plan to write. Let's see here. And, um, but I do love this. Um, it's a good reminder. If I'm not speaking well, what is in my heart in that moment? If I speak in ways that I know God does not agree with or isn't in agreement with him, then what am I really saying? And where is my heart aligned with him? So that is important reminder. And I love the fact that when I love him and I worship him and he's in my heart and the overflow that comes out, no matter what the overflow is, it is going to be good. It's going to be beautiful. It's going to be amazing. It is going to be godly. It's going to be him. And I love that. I can trust that. I can't trust myself, but I can trust that. So that is what I'm going to write. And then I'm going to journal whatever thoughts come to mind. And um, I will be right back.
Okay, I'm back. So here we go. Um, I read or wrote the version of NIV of Luke 6.45. What I forgot to do was write it in red because if it's in red in my um, Bible app, I usually write it in red. So I'm just going to put a little note here. It says Jesus speaking to remind me that he is speaking here. Um, and that I forgot to write it in red. Um, I do have that pen. I just didn't grab it. So <laughs> that's why. Um, my journal prompt says, Lord, I thank you for being my savior, filling my heart with good. So my overflow from my mouth is good. I pray that I continue to keep my heart and mind renewed and transformed by you daily. So my words can, um, I don't know what canned. I don't know what I wrote there, can uh, always be good. Amen. So I, I tend to write in prayers um, when I'm talking to the Lord because that's just what makes sense to me. Um, so, but that was my journal prompt. And I love that. I love that it just, you know, that kind of flowed out um, and just gave me inspiration to pray something new um, and things like that. Uh, and yeah, I'm really excited about that. So I have some sticker books here. I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use just yet. Other than I have, I don't know if you guys go to Walmart, but they've been getting in the planner sticker stuff too. Um, these are really old, a couple years old. I'll turn it this way, sorry. Um, sticker books, you probably can't find these particular designs, but they have new ones out. And I'm going to use these. I do have some Happy Planner Faith ones over here, old ones also. So I'm going to be flipping through these and figure out what uh, I want to use. I'm kind of drawn to these colors here. So I think this is what I'm going to use. I ha didn't use very much of these, but I do like them. Um, I was just starting to get into planning when uh, and stickers when I got on to Prayerful Planner and Erin Condren and things like that. And, oh, that's kind of cool. Um, so I've used a few of these, but not a lot. Let's see. Oh, I like that. This is what I was thinking of. I think I want to use these because it just has a little bit. And then some of these. And uh, let's see what else I can come up with. So, but I um, make sure I got everything on view here as I start putting stuff down. There we go. And so, but I'm excited about this move. I'm excited about um, all the changes that are coming up uh, with uh, everything that's about to happen. You know, one thing that's changed is my son graduated high school. We went on our little vacation and we're back. And that went really well. Um, I, I did post a video on a, a short um, video on my I think I'm gonna use this one. Um, what do you call it? My uh, Lisa's Faith and Budget Planning Channel. And if you, if I haven't already shared that on this one, I'll share it again in the cards um, so that you can see my sign walk across the stage. It's really cool. I was so excited. I'm just one proud mama, <laughs> and I couldn't help but share it. Let's see here. I think I want one of each of these colors. And so that happened, we went out of town. My parents were with us while we were out of town and that was a lot of fun. We went to this replica of a Shakespeare um, called theater called the, um, the Globe. It's a replica of what he would have had, um, a small one, uh, but what he would have had when um, they were doing plays outside London, I think. And that was really cool. And my dad is a, a huge Shakespeare f fanatic. And, um, oh, that's cute. I like that. Those are my three prayers I want to write. And so we, we went and saw that. What else did we do? We um, just explored the town, did some shopping. It's in Stanton, Virginia. Um, I thought it was pronounced Staunton, but it's uh, actually Stanton. Um, there's a U in it, and I don't know why. And just had a really good day. My son actually had, um, what was it? Uh, he studied uh, Othello. He read Othello, the play, in high school right before he graduated. So that's why we picked that as our little graduation 
getaway um, activity because we just did not have time to do anything else. And then as soon as we got back, prepared the house and cleaned out a lot of things for, um, oh, that's cute, for, for our move and things like that. So yeah, um, especially for our listing photos, that was the primary is getting the house decluttered enough, which inside the house was not that bad, um, but getting things decluttered enough so that uh, they can do the listing photos. Now the listing is not live when I'm filming, but it will be live soon. And that is exciting. I probably won't share it on my channel just because of safety um, on exactly where I'm at, but I will afterwards uh, show on my channel once we've moved. <laughs> Not the address, but other things. That's kind of cute. I like how that pops off the page a little bit. There we go. There's that. And then I think I want to use some of these maybe to kind of go across here and do another, I want to put some kind of phrase or scripture, not scripture, um, wording right here, but I don't know what I want yet. But things are moving along. I am, t I am like two or three days away from actually having this house um, listed, which means I'm hoping that it sells quickly and if it does sell quickly, then that means we can move quickly. And um, my husband's still looking for a job. So if you're praying for us, um, we're praying for a new job and that the Lord will provide us a new job very soon. Um, the, he did put in an application recently. I mean, he's always putting in. Oh, I do have some words here. Cool. Um, he did put one in recently he thinks would be really good fit and I just pray that we um, that works out for him and we hear back um, in the application process and that they find him somebody um, worthy of the job so that that's the big thing you know you want not only to be sellable but you want them to want you because of what is available I like this, but this is not exactly what I'm looking for, I don't think. Let's see. I kind of like this green over here. And then um, I'm not seeing the blues. Okay. I think I'm going to look at another book to see if there's other in these color palettes um, with some words or some kind of phrase that really kind of speaks to me. I love this one, but it's not exactly speaking to me. So let's see what I have in this old one. I um, It was so neat when I did my office for uh, the staging of my house and all of that, I, um, I cried. <laughs> Guys, you don't understand, I cried. Um, I was very sad to put most of my stuff away. That's a contender right there, I like that. Um, but I, um, had to leave a few, th I did leave a few things out, mostly Erin Condren stuff and other sticker stuff that I thought would look good out. And I, um, <laughs> used it to decorate with, which was really, really cool. Um, was not expecting that. Um, I thought I was going to have to put everything away, but I did make it look cute and, um, almost Instagram worthy. <laughs> So um, that was kind of cool. I think I'm going to use, where's that? Just went right past it. Yep, this one. Be still my soul. Oh, that's good. Yeah, because you want to renew your mind and your heart. And um, being still is the best way to do that um, with the Lord. So be still my soul. And I'm going to kind of put this uh, about right here, I think. Well, actually, before I put that one down, I want to put the other one down. So hold on a second. I need to get I want another one of this color. There we go. And just kind of go off like this in this corner. You're kind of framing it out a little bit and then put this like in the middle. Very geometric. Let's see. As close to middle as possible. There we go. That's good enough for me. And then, um, let's see, what else do I want? Do I want anything else in here? Hmm. 
I don't know. Nope, I want to look at something else. I have one more faith book. And that's the other one. These are older ones. I don't know if they even have them in the uh, stores anymore. There we go. Let's see, I was hoping to have something that was like, I can lay in these spaces here. And I think I will just use maybe some floral. I wish I had more of this color. Is that the same color? I can't tell. Oh no, I can use these down here. Yeah. So a little bit of a contrast in color. Oh, I wonder if I could, this would look good here. Yeah, I like that. And then I'll just turn it the other way. Here. That's really cute. All right. Still didn't do these two corners. <laughs> oh, goodness. I'm wondering. I want to try something here. I always avoid these because I never know how to use these. It's just a circle. And I think what I'm going to do is cut it in half right here and here. Alrighty. Never thought to do this before and just kind of frame out these corners here. I know it's probably not looking that great, but I like it. And then there's something else I saw. Oops, one of my papers around. No. Oh, sing. So song I'm singing would be good because of David here at the top singing and worshiping to the Lord. I do believe this is a song as well. And then pray until something happens. Amen. There we go. See, now it looks a little cuter. Um, pray to something happens. That is so important because you never know. All right, I think I'm done fiddling around. The colors don't match exactly, and that's okay. But I think it's cute. It's decorative. I enjoyed putting the stickers down and had fun with that. Um, let's see. Let's write out the prayer part. So right now on my heart and my mind, besides what I wrote at the top, um, is prayer for the, so for the house. And there's a trick here. Um, when you're selling your house, when you have a home and you're ready to sell it, stop calling it your home, call it your house or call it a house. It detaches you from it. Not that I was, I, was, I love my home. I love this house, but I wasn't in love with it. And, um, and I, I have trouble. I've never really had roots in one place for very long. So I have trouble being attached to homes and locations and stuff like that. A lot of people seem to have deep attachments, sentimental attachments to inanimate objects. I'm just not one of them. So I don't know, but, um, I did learn this a long time ago, you know, when you're ready to sell your ha your house, don't call it a home, call it a house so you detach a little bit. You can still always love it and the memories in it. They're always yours forever. Now let's see, house, um, uh, sells fast. <laughs> and um, moving date. So those are my two prayers. We're listing it um, on July 5th by August 5th. Hopefully after that, we should close on the sale of the house with 30 days. And then um, let's see what else. But I want to make sure it move, uh, sells fast and we're moving fast and that we have a moving date. And even if it doesn't sell fast, the moving date is the primary so I can get us where we're going. Um, I've done several moved. We, we've had, you know, over 20 addresses in 26 years, uh, with, uh, Navy life and all that stuff when my husband enlisted right up, right after college or when we got out of college. Um, so this is not new, but the process is a little different because this is not a military move. So that's different. Uh, sales fast moving date. And then a husband, 
and just pray for a um, new job. And um, income. That God blesses us with a new job and the income we desire. Um, that we know will work best for my our family and things like that. And then here I want to put, let's see, um, uh, family. So family. Sons. Transition. So our sons are autistic. They're high functioning or mildly or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what to call it. <laughs> they are autistic documented, but their anxiety and some of their learning skills and social skills is what holds them back. That's what makes them autistic. And uh, transitioning for a move is never easy, even though we've been military for a long time. Um, it's, it's just still never that easy. So hopefully we're in a community that um, is best for them and hopefully have jobs and training and stuff like that for them in their future. That would be amazing. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to for family. And then um, let's see uh, our home, new home. We're selling a house, but we're buying a home. And that's the dream. We're hoping this is the last move of our life for the most part and that we all can live there happily ever after and that God blesses us with a church, a home, um, community, and um, because we're going to be strangers in a strange land and, and just totally different life that we we're not we don't we don't know what the next is but we're excited about the next so yeah um that is what i have for right now so i'm going to zoom out a little bit put my notebook back together and uh close out this video okay there you have it here are my prayers prayerful planner scripture writing journaling prompt my thoughts for the 29th of june um which is my last entry for um this time period. I will be taking a break over the summer. Um, hopefully by September I will be back um, and this move goes smoothly. And when I come back that we can chat about it and talk about it in the comments. Um, I'll be praying for you guys and thinking of you while I'm not videoing and sending this stuff out, but um, I am excited to come back. Um, so, but I am sad because <laughs> I'm going to miss you guys so much. Oh my gosh. Um, I love talking to you guys and kind of going through this and reading your comments or emails or whatever. So, um, but I hope you have an amazing and blessed summer and amazing and blessed day. And, um, I will respond to comments if you put them in the comment section and, um, go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and I will see you guys in the fall and, um, just have a blessed and amazing day in life guys. Uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.